Hello and welcome to my channel Eleni Yama Yoga. Today we are doing kneeling free yoga, meaning we are not going to be on our knees. We are going to strengthen them. This is perfect if you have some knee injury like me or you just don't want to be on all fours. We are going to need a blanket and one block if you have it. So let's begin by lying down on our mat. Take your knees apart and your feet together and just ground down your spine, your lower back. Making sure the lower back is on the ground, pulling tailbone in. And just begin here by breathing very deeply, letting your hands be on your belly and feeling it expand and collapse. So hug in your lower ribs, your whole spine is on the ground. Breathe in through your nose, let the breath go all the way down to your belly and all the way up again. And two more breaths here. Just relax. And then slowly come up and take your blanket. Put it just behind your neck. And let's take our feet up, lying on the blanket. And we are just going to point and flex our toes, just to warm up the hamstrings a little bit. Do it two more times, flexing and pointing the toes. And when you're ready, leave them neutral. And then just take your hands up and see if you can reach the toes by coming up. If you can't reach the toes, no problem. We are just going to stay on our blanket and then reach one hand up first. The right hand to the right toe, go down. Left hand to the left toe and go back down as much as you can, reaching the toes. One more time on each side. So this is also a great abs workout. We are going to work a lot with our core muscles. And now we are going to lift both hands up, trying to reach the toes and release. Two more times. Up and release. And one more time, up and release. And then let your feet fall on the ground just to recover a little bit. And then take them, take your shin bones parallel to the ground. So not flexing the knees too much, but just at 90 degrees angle. Take your hands behind your neck and then just come up towards your knees with your head and go down two more times as much as you can. And then release. And now we are going to do some kind of scissors. So we are extending the right leg reaching to the ground but not putting it on the ground and coming with our right elbow towards the left knee and then bring the knees back together lie down left side so left elbow to the right knee extending the left leg and lie down 
Take your knees together and we do it two more times on each side. Inhale, up and exhale down. You don't have to reach the foot towards the ground, you can leave it up again. And last time on each side. And then slowly release. Put your feet on the ground and relax. And from here we are going to come up and do a reverse tabletop. So just remove the blanket for now as if you are doing a normal all fours but we are just reversing so make sure your back is straight you are not collapsing opening your heart and placing your hands just two hand palms distance apart behind your hips lift up make sure the hands are just below the shoulders and go down and we do this three more times. Go up to reverse tabletop. Come back down. One more time. Up. Come back. And the third time we are going to stay here for a few breaths. So breathe very deeply, engaging your thighs. Engaging the legs. And two more breaths here. And then slowly come down, release. From here we are going to come to side plank. So you have two options here. If the full side plank is too uh, difficult for you, and remember, we don't want to come on our knees. We are just going to do the half one. So being on our elbow. This is the first option. So place the elbow, the right elbow, just below your right shoulder. Making sure your hand is on the ground, the right one. And then just extend and lift up for side plank, low side plank. If this is too easy for you or you want to go a bit further, then come on your right hand and to the full side plank on the right side and we stay in whichever position you are for five breaths. Two more. And last one. And slowly release. And now we ch change sides. So we take the left elbow on the ground or the left hand and we lift up for our half or full plank on the side. And we stay for five breaths. So in whichever position you are, make sure that you are pushing the ground away, lifting your hips up and breathe. And one more breath. And then slowly release. And from here we are going to lie down again and do a bridge pose with a block. So grab your block and just place it in between your knees. Doesn't matter which way, lying down and preparing for bridge pose. So now when we hug the low ribs in, make sure that the low back is on the ground as in the first, first posture that we did. Now we are going to also engage and pull the knees together. So grabbing the block, pushing it together and then just 
lift the hips up. And then come back down. We do this five times and then the fifth one we stay a bit longer. Go up and down. Very slowly and gently and hugging your tailbone in. Up and down, engaging the legs, the butt and pushing the knees together. And on the last one, we come up and we stay here for a few breaths. One, two, and three, last breath here. And slowly release. And from here, we are going to do something a bit more difficult, maybe for some of you. We're just going to try and see how it goes. So our final goal is to come to this pose, which is like Paschimottanasana, but we are um, extending the legs and just sitting on our sit bones. So this is called Upaya Padangustasana. And there's a few ways you can come there. First of all, let's lie down on our back and lift the feet up again, pointing the toes. Just try to bring your feet and your legs towards you, keeping the knees straight and see how far you can go. If your hips are coming up, like for me, you can also bend the knees a little bit so just test this and see how far you can go. Then lift the hips up and make sure you put your feet on the ground just behind you. So roll back and then grab your big toes. Extending the legs. So now the legs are stretched. If this is too uncomfortable, you can also try with bent knees or just leave the, the hands and come straightly up to the pose or we do it very gently from here trying to catch the toes and then very with control we are going to roll back on our spine extending the legs and coming up with a lot of core strength to Upaya Padangustasana so pointing the knee and um, pointing the the toes up and if this is too hard for you you can also grab then behind um, your knees and just stay here wherever you can like a boat pose you can even put um, you can even bend the knees or staying here with straight legs for three two one and one more time, three, two, one. And then we leave the hands and stay again for three, two, one. And then release and lie down on your back. Putting the feet on the ground. And now we are going to come to happy baby before we come to our last resting pose. So grab your big toes, open the feet to the sides and come to happy baby. Make sure your low back is on the ground, hugging the low ribs in and just relax here. Three more breaths. Then slowly release. Hands to the side in cactus pose or just lift them straight. Knees together and let the knees fall to the right side. Turn your head to the left. 
trying to keep the left shoulder on the ground for a twist. And take three very deep breaths here. And then we change sides, so we come knees to the center and we leave them fall to the left side and we turn our head to the right. Three more deep breaths here. Make sure your right shoulder is touching the ground this time. And slowly come back to center and just come to where we started so um, Supta Baddha Konasana letting the knees fall to the sides feet together grounding your lower back to the ground and just take two more deep breaths but with each exhalation make it so loud that you release all of your negative energy into the ground so together we breathe in and breathe out very loudly. Breathe in one more time. So releasing your energy, letting it stay in the ground, all of the bad energy and making space for the good one. We are going to come back up. If you want to stay a bit longer in your Supta Baddha Konasana, please feel free. Otherwise, come up. So this was a really short workout for um, your core, but also not involving the knees in any kind of a way. So we try to strengthen the knees. This is perfect if you have some injury or just want to be not on your knees. So thanks for watching, let me know how you find it. Namaste and hope to see you soon again.